Hello everyone and welcome back to Susan So Creative, where it's only wrong when it doesn't work. Have you ever wanted to create your own stitching pattern for your long arm? And like me, you're not that great about free motion stitching? Today I will show you three ways to create new designs using Pro Stitcher Designer for your long arm. When the weather's bad outside, it's a great time to learn something new. So let's break out the hot chocolate and join me for some fun. ways to do a uh, new stitch pattern for your long arm is by working with artwork that's already been completed something that you don't have to draw or create on, on your on your own and I've downloaded a few just basic samples that I got off the internet for free and I typed in on a search just free uh, and I, this time I did silhouettes cats so I'm going to go up here. I'm already in my Pro Stitcher Designer and I'm in the tools and I'm going to select auto vectorizing. And I'm going to select the design that I have downloaded. And I've downloaded more than one because I'm trying to play with different things. I kind of like this kitty cat here for a block. So we're going to open him up and click next. Here I can go ahead and change or reset the size. I, let's see, it's 100, it's basically two by two. So let's go ahead and I can type in a new size here or I can just drag it off. I'd like to keep these designs the same size. It's 183. If I try and go in here, we can go ahead and type this up to say six inches. And it already changes the height for me. And then I can go ahead and click next. There's my design right here. Now it's a little on the rough side, but it vectorized it. So it gave me a X and a Y plot for each point. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and finish, click finish, and there is my design, already done. All I have to do now is go into my preview. I'm going to make sure I click on stitches, and I've got my stitch length at two. Then I can check my stitch out, and press play, and it's going to stitch my design for me. I like creating designs like this. Fantastic. So I have my kitty cat all done. Now we're ready to go file and we're going to save as. Okay. And I'm going to select the type of design that I or type of file that I would like to use. I'm just going to select the QLI. And we're going to save this as catwalk1. And I've just created a stitch pattern for my long arm. A real easy way to get a design is by using the magic wand tool that's up here in the top. To start with, we're going to select the backdrop tool, select, and I'm gonna choose the design, still from the same folder, because I put all my designs in one folder, my other kitty cat here. We're gonna make him the same size, six inches, as my previous block, so my blocks will be the same size. And again, I can resize them to fit whatever I want on my quilt when I'm ready to stitch. So here's my design here. So I'm going to check or choose the way I want to go ahead and trace them off. And I like the Vizier simply because it gives me all the points that I can go ahead and move if I need to. And we're gonna select the magic wand. Now I'm just gonna magic wand, watch it fast. And there it is, it's stitched out. Now, if you can't see it, I'm going to change the color so it's a little bit easier to read against that. We'll change it to black. Now we got it red, so you can see it. My only problem with this, and I'll show it here, is it curves where it should be pointed. So I'd have to go back in, select the Bezier's, and go back in and highlight all of these and make it a cusp to make it a corner so I get a better angle to it. In other words, I'm going to have a lot of cleanup involved. Now that's this particular design because it has all sharp edges. So I'd have to go in and go and get just tweak it so it's right. But that is a way you can go ahead and create your design like this. 
If I try doing a line design, let's show you how that works here. I'm going to go ahead and select. This time I'm going to choose out a line, just a line design, and it'll be a continuous run. And there's my design. Again, it's just a background right now. It is not an actual pattern. I want to make this a little larger than two inches. Let's make it four inches wide. This would be like our border. And there's my design. Now I can go ahead and select the Beezer tool again. Select Magic Wand. And we're just going to click here. Notice it didn't do anything. It's just clicking one block at a time. It's not doing much of anything. Now if I zoom in here, because it got me a little bit here, but you can see, can you see the designs? It's making or trying to trace off both sides of the design at the same time, which means I'm not going to get an outline. I'm going to get a double outline. Here you can see a design and how it <laughs> The magic wand trying to trace both sides of the pattern at the same time. So if you're going to be doing a line design, I don't recommend using the magic wand. What I have found is the easiest way to get a line design is if uh, you're just going to trace it off with a regular pencil. So I've selected the regular pencil, I've turned off my magic wand, and I'm just going to left click and hold down my button and I'm going to draw this line and just trace it right on my screen. Now, if you have a stylus and you have a touch screen, you can go ahead and trace right on your screen of the computer. If you wanted to print it out, I know I'm messing up, but don't worry, I'm going to show you how to fix it. You can also go around and print the design onto paper and use a stylus and trace it off if you're not real comfortable doing it about it on the screen with your mouse but you get the idea here now if I were to lift up I'd lose my line but there's a way to correct that so don't panic I'm going to show you that in just a minute let's get this done or almost done and there we go so I've got my design done all right let's turn it turn it a color so you can see it yeah, there we are. Now it's red. Ah, what a mess. Turn on your bells there options here. And now you can go back in and I can redesign this or set my line up to where I want it to be where it should have been because I messed up. You can spend a lot of time going around and tweaking this this way. It is a little bit longer to do this in a line design, but this is about the only way I've found that you can get a line design that it's not going to double trace the line as on an automatic setting. It's not difficult to do. It only takes a few minutes and you can tweak as much as, or as little as you want. Okay. Once I've got this all done, I've enlarged the design. I might tweak that a little bit more, but there's my design there and we can go back into preview, go to stitch out, and press play and you can see the design actually create itself. So here's my running pattern that goes with the two blocks for the kitties. Now all I gotta do is make the quilt top. Don't worry if you have to let up your mouse and you can't trace the entire design on one pass through. If you have to add an extra piece and you can see here where I've done that. I've got the bliss extra blue line that I had to add on after ending here. I'm just going to first off select that over here and change the color to the same color as that first part of my design, which is color number 15. Now I'm going to hold down my control button and select the other half of my design. I'm going to join the two to make one design. At this point, I'm going to go right click. I'm going to go to utility and I'm going to go to connect. I now have my start and stop button or start and stop on my design in one place. So I've added that little extra part of the design to my design. So I have my complete design in one stitch out. To test it, all you're going to do is go up here to preview. 
you're going to select stitches and here I can change my stitch length if I want to two is fine for me and I'm going to well before I do that let's go ahead and view this let's go ahead and select view and I'm going to do to selection and you can see here's where my original design was down here and I only chose the one cat you can see where I've made him larger so now we're going to go ahead and go to preview stitches and we're going to go to stitch out and I'm going to press the play and you can see where it'll actually go through and stitch my entire design and I'll know I'll have my kitty cat block all completed and ready to take to my machine. I thought maybe you'd like to see how the design that I just completed, that little running pattern of the cat, as an edge-to-edge -edge fill. So here's my design here, already loaded into uh, Pro Stitcher Premium, and I do have uh, like a 45 by 60 area blocked off. So here's my design. I'm going to go ahead and just do a repeat, and I can plus it up like so. Okay, looks pretty good and we can do a vertical i don't like the cats lined up this way so i am going to go back over to my wrap and i'm going to choose horizontal and i'm going to do a half row let's see what that looks like uh, that doesn't look too bad but i think we need to go just a little bit more yeah I like that i kind of like that one all right so that's going to work with that now, I'm going to make sure I've got my edges joined, and you can see that just disappeared and just made one. I now don't have my start and stop over there. I just took that away. Did you want to see that again? Back it up. Now, can you see the stop, the stop, the start, the start, the start? If I click on edges, that's right down here, it eliminates them. So it's going to do a straight stitch that connects those two so that I don't have all the starts and stops. All right, let's go back to a full screen. So go view. And we're gonna go back down here to home and show my entire screen here. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and fill the rest of the design. So we're gonna go back over to repeat. And I don't need my wrap, I'm just gonna do basic. So we're going to do a vertical fill. And I go ahead, all my stops are over here and all my starts are over here. And I have my quilt all laid out. So once I get the quilt top done, I'm ready to do it in edge to edge. I don't know about you, but I'm ready for another cup of hot chocolate. Thanks for joining me today. Remember, at Susan So Creative, it's only wrong when it doesn't work. So grab your cup and let's start stitching. <laughs>